supposedly it is working. I'll have to make a hard save. Make sure everything works out properly. So, Mass Effect 2. Legendary. <laughs> Continuing along. New game. And port. Death Shepherd. <laughs> So that's one, two, three, four, five times I've beaten this game. Six? Did I actually go f through with the other ones? No, I didn't go with Goody Shepherd. <laughs> or Ginger. But Lucifer is our boy. Insanity, of course, because I love the pain. Auto level up is off. Subtitles are on. Squad, no, no, they cannot control themselves. They do not get to use their powers. I will use them for them. Auto save is on. Lucifer Shepherd. Level 57. I was leveling on Classic 2, so I transfer over correctly. It's maxed rank first time through. I guess you can grind maybe to 58, but it wouldn't make a difference. Adept. My first time as an adept playing for the first game I completed, and I beat it. Second time, second game is going to be the first time I've played as an adept, and the third game as well. When I get there. He is a renegade. Oh, he is beyond renegade. He is going to bring death and destruction to the whole fucking universe. <laughs> Rex was saved. Aww. Lucifer has plans for him. Kinalenko was killed on Vermeer. The console was lost during the attack on the Citadel. Aww. We all feel sad. Commander Shepard recommended Ambassador Udina for a seat on the console. <laughs> Let's begin this wrong decisions playthrough continues. It's gonna get worse than the first game. Shepard did everything right. More than we could have hoped for. Commander Shepard uncovered the truth. And still, it's not enough. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. But they're sending him to fight Geth. Geth. We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help, even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard, they'll follow him. He's a hero, a bloody icon. But he's just one man. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. <laughs> then see to it that we don't lose him. Hello, Tim. Apparently Lucifer will be working with you in this game. <laughs> It's only one month after that devastating a Geth attack. Yeah, not Sovereign. Not the Reaper that the console was all on board with. Odina was on board with the Reapers. He's the head of the console, I guess, now. It's supposed to be human led console. Now that the. Council, the original council was sacrificed. Engaging FTL drives. Emission sinks active. Board is green. We are running silent. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. 
Something happened to him. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long-range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly... It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers! F the, uh, the fuck out of there. Eh, too late. Presley! Presley, no! Kinetic barriers down. Multiple hull breaches. Weapons offline. Somebody get that fire out! Okay, you don't know how to maneuver. <laughs> Babe! Why the hell are you wearing your Phoenix armor? Shepard! Distress beacon is ready for launch. Will the Alliance get here in time? I'm not doing this just so they can find our frozen corpses. Get everyone onto the escape shuttle. Joker's still in the cockpit. He won't abandon ship. I'm not leaving either. Hmm. Get to the damn shuttle. I'll haul Joker's crippled ass out of here. Commander. I told you to leave. <laughs> Everybody in. Go, go, go. Oh, what a burst of dust. Hey, we have escape pods. Where are these on the Normandy? I've never seen these before. What deck is that on? <laughs> it's sleeper pods, not escape pods. Hmm, maybe I should. Oh, I can't do anything. <laughs> read my journal. Go to the cockpit. This is high motion. This is ridiculous. That's high camera suit. We've suffered heavy damage from an unknown enemy. <gasps> Pretty planet. I got the stars so close together. <laughs> Come with me. Cheers. Come with me. That one doesn't move. Come on, Joker. We have to get out of here. No, I won't abandon the Normandy. I can still save her. I think Shepard's wearing medium armor. The Normandy's dead. Just like us, we don't get the hell out of here. No, we just have to... Oh, no. They're coming around for another attack. Going backwards. Shepard! 
explosion was to his right or to the back of him. See, that explosion in the front correctly blows him backwards. That's how physics works. <gasps> Real fire. I'm sure you'll be fine. Oh, no, wait a minute. Oh. So you're seeing the air leaving your suit. That means you have no shields and no barriers. And it looks like you're heading towards the planet. And this planet has atmosphere. That means it has gravity. That means you're going to smash into the fucking land or water and become a splat. Right? That means everything's going to disintegrate and break apart. I made a lot of bad decisions, one might say wrong decisions. And I want to see how they portray this into this 15 minute or 17 minute cartoon. <sighs> Wake me when it's done. <laughs> Interactive. That's if you didn't play the first game. Why are we going off the gas again? Commander Shepard has been recovered. How? The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. He got burned into a cinder when he entered the planet's atmosphere. If he didn't burn up, he would have splatted like a fly on a windshield. Easily! They didn't change them. I am impressed. Hair looks curlier. Uh, which side do you look at? Yeah, that's the look of death. <laughs> Adept. What we got here? Singularity warp throw pull shockwave. Oh, that's been streamlined down. Heavy pistol submachine gun. Oh boy. All right. Yeah, I'll take Reeve. Reeve's gonna be very good. Probably the first thing I'm gonna level too. surroundings. My god, Miranda, I think he's waking up. Damn it, Wilson, he's not ready yet. Give him the sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. Steps pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Look, you see our body. Now. Game is clearly made for 15 year olds. That was too close. We almost lost him. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. Wake up, Commander. Wake up, Lucifer. The 
think he's got scars now. Level <laughs> oh, five. Yay. Okay, when I got eight points. Damage forty points per second, four seconds. Target's nurse system disables health regeneration. Oh really? This field is regenerated. We've also double does double damage to armor and barriers. Power recharge time. So I'll probably go Reeve, Biotic Mastery, then Warped and Singularity. Which I'm good to me. Four points for that. Shroot. You don't have time to wait around, Shepard. Grab your weapon and armor. Okay. This pistol doesn't have a thermal clip. What? Right. It's a med bay. We'll get you a clip from. Keep your head down, Shepard. Shield yourself from the blast. Someone's hacking security trying to kill you. Look for a thermal clip for your pistol. The fuck's a thermal clip? And how does Shepard know about it? it must have happened. Looks like they set up a barricade to try holding the mechs off. During that one month, he was alive between games. <laughs> Oh, I've got the active already? Oh, cool. And I got Singularity active. Really? No. I want this mapped over here. Oh, I can't change the Y button? You're serious? Can't change the Y button. Why? 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 Why can't I change the Y button? You you hurt you you injure me so. I don't want to use singularity as my fucking main button. So it's R B. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Cool. It works on synthetics too. Interesting. Shepard, security mechs are closing in on your position. You'll have to excuse my aim. I'm playing on a controller. Doesn't give you health though. <clears throat> Let's trip, trip the. Nice work, Shepard. Coast is clean. Hmm. Don't waste time. I can't keep the mix distracted for long. Maybe not fight the heavy robotic enemy. Doesn't look like you wearing any armor. Maureen. Here come the mechs. Use the grenade. We've been spotted. <laughs> Take the elevator down one floor. Hurry! Get to the door! Run! Okay. Do something about it. <gasps> they look injured. Maybe I should help them. Oh, too late. Oh, loud force casualty.
Not possible. To accelerate the process, we've moved from simple organic reconstruction of the subject to biosynthetic fusion. The initial results show promise. Not possible. Log update. The cost of this project is astronomical. Over four billion credits so far. But nobody seems to care that we've gone over budget. I don't know where the boss gets all his money. Maybe it's better not to know. I just wish he'd kick a little more in my direction once in a while. Yeah, just type in a bunch of ones and zeros. You don't have physical currency anymore, do you? That's a strong window. Look at that glass. Mm. What the hell was that? Was that a warp? I've got him. What are you doing here? I thought you were still a work in progress. Answers! Look, pal. I don't know where I am or how I got here. Plus, my head feels like an overripe melon ready to split open. How about you fill me in a little? Damn. Yeah, I forgot this is all new to you. Sorry about that. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for hostiles detected. Damn it! Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. Ever since I woke up, someone's been telling me where to go and what to do. I need answers. Fair enough. I'll give you the quick version. You and your ship were attacked and destroyed. You were killed. Dead as dead can be when they brought you here. Our scientists spent the last two years putting you back together. You've been comatose, or worse, that whole time. Welcome back to your life. Not possible. He burned up in the atmosphere. <laughs> His brain did not survive. <sighs> this doesn't look like an Alliance facility. It isn't. I can't say much more than that for now. The Alliance officially declared you killed in action. The whole galaxy thinks you're dead. And if we don't get to those shuttles, they'll be right. What about my guru? I care so much about them. Were there any other survivors from the Normandy? I'll tell you what. You help me finish off these mechs, and I'll play 20 questions with you all day. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit them with the good stuff. You're a biotic. You are nothing compared to Shepard. Falling back. Oh, this is weird. Okay. I promised I'd answer your questions. What do you want to know? Investigate. Huh, where the fuck are you? What's your job here? Depends on who you ask. Technically, I'm Miranda's top lieutenant, but I'm just a soldier. I served five years in the Alliance before this. Now I'm in charge of the station's security. Usually a lot more dull than this. Normally I don't fire my gun unless it's target practice. Hmm. When I first woke up, someone named Miranda was talking to me over the radio. We lost contact just before I ran into you. Miranda Lawson is the station's ranking officer. She led the Lazarus team. It was her job to bring you back to life, no matter what. Should have guessed she'd try to save you. She's not about to give up on you now. You said you lost contact. Could you tell what was happening? There was some gunfire and an explosion right before I lost her. She knows how to take care of herself. But I hope she's okay. You said they spent two years rebuilding me? How bad were my injuries? I'm no doctor, but it was bad. When I first saw you, you were nothing but meat and tubes. Anywhere else, they'd have put you in a coffin. Project Lazarus was different. Cutting edge technology. <laughs> Apparently. And they got rid of your scar on your left cheek. No. 
What can you tell me about the project? Were there other test subjects? Project Lazarus only had one subject. The whole point was to bring you back. Just you. Even that was a challenge. Two years. All the top scientists. The best technology money could buy. They could put together at burning ashes into a body. Save a man's brain that burned up in the atmosphere. Smashed into the ground. And they can get rid of your scar. <laughs> what do you mean? Cloning? Cybernetics? I don't know the details. You'd have to ask the scientists. But I'm pretty sure you're not a clone. Okay. They wanted to bring you back exactly as you were. You're still you. You just might have a few extra bits and pieces now. So you can bring back people who had been burned up, smashed into a ground, <laughs> and clone people, but you can't keep their neural pathways into a computer or some other transfer into another brain. Okay, they're not that far along. Okay, okay. <laughs> Do you know anything about this attack? Who's behind it? What they're after? Damn if I know. I was getting ready for some shut-eye, then BAM! Bunch of explosions. Next thing I know, every damn mech in the place starts shooting at us. I'm guessing it had to be an inside job. You'd need top security access to hack all the mechs. The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? Just about everybody survived. A few servicemen from the lower decks didn't get out. Navigator Presley was killed by an explosion. Presley, no! Everyone else, including the non-alliance crew, the Asari, Liara, and the Quarian, <gasps> they all made it out alive. Tally. Do you know what any of them are doing now? I don't know, Commander. It's been two years. They've moved on. Left the Alliance. Could be anywhere. They were my team. If they knew I was alive, they'd come back. Absolutely. Maybe you can track them down after we get off the station. If we get off the station. What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if we- Check. Check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell? Never mind. You need to get him out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. I think I remember a Wilson checking on me one time when I woke up. That's him. He's the chief medical tech. Answers directly to Miranda. Come on, the service tunnels are this way. <gasps> What's this? Log update. The Lazarus project is about to enter the final phase. It's taken nearly two years, but we did it. Commander Shepard is alive. This is the most amazing medical achievement in recorded history. Maybe now Miranda will finally show some appreciation for everything I've done. God damn, go after a different check. She doesn't want you. <laughs> Take a hint. There we go. Switch. What I tell you to switch? Do 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 do. So I want to fix the lights. They've seen us. Damn it, Wilson. This room is crawling with them. Hey, that's for the singularity now. What the fuck? Okay, you spoke. It's crawling with mix. I'm doing the best I can. Subdue and suppress. Loves their fucking symbol. Every window, door. Physical reconstruction of subject is complete, but we still need to evaluate all mental and neurological functions. Our orders were clear. Make Commander Shepard who he was before the explosion. The same mind, the same morals, the same personality. If we alter his identity in any way, if he's somehow not the man he used to be, the Lazarus Project. 
project will have failed. I refuse to let that happen. I'm surprised that guy isn't bald and actually gave someone with hair. Unlike a certain mission that will come up later. Shepard, down here! Yeah? Bastards got me in the leg! We need to get off this station. I'm not going anywhere until someone fixes my leg. Should be some metagel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the metagel from the first aid station on the wall. So are you shot? Did you break your leg? Is it that bad? Thanks, Shepard. <clears throat> Never thought you'd save my life. Guess that makes us even now, hmm? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs, but whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot! How do you explain that? Yeah. I don't care who set up who. Those mechs are shooting at all of us. We'll sort it out later. We need to find Miranda first. We can't just leave her behind. Forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. Mm. Maybe she survived and she can't contact you? Haven't known her long enough to trust her. This project was Miranda's baby. She'd never sabotage it. Okay, maybe she's not a traitor. But that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few... Yeah. ...over... ...canisters to clear a path. That's it. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Okay, we took him down, but this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if he's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project, the program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. Oh, I remember them. Fine people. Killing innocent people. Oh, after my own heart. You told me you were with the Alliance. I don't like being played for a sucker. I didn't lie to you, Commander. I was with the Alliance, before I joined Cerberus. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too, but right now we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. Elusive man. Is he in charge of all this? Yeah. That's not his real name, of course. Nobody knows who he really is. It was a code name the Alliance used for him. Kinda stuck. I don't care what his name is. He just needs to answer my questions. All of them. He spent a lot of money and time bringing you back. I'm sure he'll be more than happy to tell you whatever you want to know. Yeah. It's not much farther to the shuttle bay. You say so. We've been spotted. <gasps> Excuse me. Have a nice trip. Careful, we're power. Out of my way. Why can't we have ammo like this all over the place? <gasps> Take cover, you moron! If I could turn my camera faster, that wouldn't have happened. cover. Why 
aren't you switching? Now it blows up on one. Shields have failed. On target. Yeah. In addition to the expected burns and internal injuries from the explosion, subject has suffered significant cellular breakdown due to long-term exposure to vacuum and sub-zero temperatures. Despite the extent of the physical trauma, Wilson assures me subject is salvageable. No. Lazarus project will proceed as planned. It's not salvageable. Salvageable. It's not possible. Completely impossible. Get rid of burned up. Come on, through here. We're almost at the Miranda, but you are <gasps> dead. What the hell are you doing? My job. Wilson betrayed us all. So you're using a shuriken. That's a machine pistol. She just fired more shots after one pulled the trigger. It's not a heavy pistol. You should have taken him alive. See what he knew. Too risky. I've put too much time and effort bringing you back to life to let you get killed now. You really think Wilson's capable of that? Not anymore. Even if you're sure, did he deserve that welcome? He sabotaged the security systems, killed my staff, and he would have killed us. You sure about that, Miranda? We've known Wilson for years. What if you're wrong? I'm never wrong. I thought you'd have learnt that by now, Jacob. Of course they don't have any cameras around here to verify her assertion of what he did. I had a feeling Wilson was just looking for a chance to shoot me in the back. Good instincts. Some people are far too trusting to ever see that coming. Come on, let's grab this shuttle and get out of here. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, uh, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get him to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? Hmm. Convenient that you show up as we're leaving. Where were you during the attack? Besides trying to save your life? Wilson figured out I was helping you and he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got here as soon as I could. Probably a little too soon if you ask Wilson. What about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. We can't leave without knowing for sure. We need to go back and look. Don't you get it? The only one worth saving is you. Everyone else is expendable. She's right. We all knew the risks when we signed up. Without you, there's no point to any of this. But Lucifer cares about survivors. The innocent people. No deaths, please. <laughs> Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. I'm not sure I trust you. This is the only shuttle off the station. You want to stay and rot with the mechs? Be my guest. I thought he was the main reason for this whole thing to be put into place. There's no project without him. Now you're just going to leave him here. I don't believe you. You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. What does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. Well, apparently he hasn't told you why he's doing it, or you don't want to tell Lucifer about it. Maybe you should give me your 
thoughts, maybe the reason he you were given by him. Let me know, please. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. Let's get the logo on the outside, too. <laughs> Bunch of terrorists with their logos everywhere. Uh, that's crazy. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. Did you say two years? I've been gone that long? Two years and twelve days. And you were on an operating table for most of it. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you grew up on Earth. Tough environment, no parents. You enlisted and led troops during some heavy fighting, most notably on Torfin. Do you remember taking on some Batarian slavers? Uh-huh. Those bastards were dug in deep in a fortified bunker. I sent a lot of good soldiers to their death. That's how it had to be. You got the job done. That's all that matters. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility, you had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Lieutenant Caden Elenko was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave him behind? Uh, because Ashley's female and he wanted to get laid. <laughs> Being in command means that sometimes you give orders knowing that your people are going to die. That can't affect your decisions. Caden gave his life for the rest of the team. Without him, I couldn't have stopped Saren. He died a hero. Absolutely. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. Eh, fuck him. Don't care about him. Another dead body waiting, just waiting. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. Don't care. We must customize. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I go on camo this time. Shiny. Damn, they get me more highlights in the third game. He's shiny. <laughs> is that red or is that? I don't know. I can never tell, depending on the lighting. Is that pink or is that red? I guess that's red. Where's the dark red? That's the dark red?
Commander Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. Yeah, I can't wait till you die. From what I hear, I cost you a fortune. Why did you do it? For the defense and preservation of humanity. I didn't spend two years and billions of credits bringing you back to serve as a common soldier. But humanity is up against the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory still intact. How are you feeling? Did you say two billion credits? So whatever is going to come up soon, that's another two billion? I noticed a few upgrades. I hope you didn't replace anything really important. We tried to keep you as intact as possible. We need Shepard, just as you were when you defeated Sovereign. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. I'm pretty sure you had help. You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. You're unique. Not just in ability or what you've experienced, but in what you represent. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. He had help. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. No, he didn't. <laughs> they have to respect that. I remember Joker putting a shot through his belly. Was it the belly? Or the front that turned into... I don't know. But he was on the inside. He was fighting, supposedly. The life force was taking over Saren's body. I guess destroying that body that Sovereign had his life force in. As a result, it made him barriers go down. And then the fleet could shoot him. But... Technically, he helped, but he didn't fire the, the shot that destroyed the physical body. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. And killing innocent people who investigate you too much and... Experimenting on innocent people and experimenting on aliens, trying to bring aliens back, and those doctors dying. <laughs> Sounds right up Lucifer's alley. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. If this is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize the Alliance. Yeah. The Alliance is overwhelmed by the responsibility you gave them. They're too busy building relations to put resources into verifying the Reaper threat. One ship. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. <laughs> Udino's on board with the Reapers. Why'd he change his mind? If you're after the Reapers, just point me in the right direction. Miranda was worried you'd be resistant. She's not usually wrong. She's I have no a Lucifer. ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You expect me to trust them? Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her, and she saved your life in more ways than one. Jacob's a soldier, one of the best. He's never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest about it. You'll be just fine with them. For now. I'll get what you're looking for and be back before you know it. Good to hear it. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. Whoop! Finish off Reeve. <laughs> D 
damage per second. See, you get three, three, you get nine feet, almost, or a little more than nine feet. Three meters, or you get 1.5 seconds more. Yeah, I think this is pretty, pretty, yeah, better. Then go Biotic Mastery, put a point in that. There we go. On our way. Da, da. Da, da. The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. Don't worry. Death and destruction and carnage will be right up your Cerberus' alley. I can't have anyone disobeying my commands when we get there. I know who I report to. As long as you don't do anything to betray Cerberus, I'll follow your orders. What's the matter, Lawson? Worried you're not his favorite anymore? I've proven my value to the elusive man. Let's hope you're able to do the same. <laughs> Are you naturally this bitchy, or is it just me? I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. I think I picked cherry red for both color uh, designs. Oh, keep it! <laughs> tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. The elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Stay focused on the mission. I gotta know your background. Put my life in your hands. What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's Progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average in almost every way, really. Completely unremarkable. Until the disappearance. Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. I'd like to know more about the Lazarus Project from the person in charge. I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, we'd have done a few things differently. Oh yeah? What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip. <gasps> but the elusive man wouldn't allow it. He was afraid it might affect your personality, alter your character somehow. He wouldn't let us do anything that might limit your potential in any way. Why not just make a clone? Give him a script. Oh, that's a better idea than spending four billion credits. Okay. Or is it two billion now? Can't say I like the idea of being brought back to life with a control chip in my brain. The elusive man is taking an incredible risk with you. I just hope his gamble pays off. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. Eh, it's a wrong decision. <laughs> Cerberus gave me my body back. That's worth giving them a chance. One chance. But you're still not convinced. Do you trust me, Commander? Nah. You're part of Cerberus. I'll be keeping an eye on you, too. Fair enough. I can't expect you to trust me just because I ask you. I'll just have to earn that trust. Hmm. You said you served in the Alliance? Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules. But there was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. The old council was dead, and humanity took control of the new one. Uh -huh. Nothing changed. Politics, yeah. bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. 
When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. Mm-hmm. And untraceable currency. I see. How is that possible? How do you get credits from one place to another? You can't launder it. It's not physical anymore. What the hell? Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. That's all for now. Yes, sir. That's right. You remember that. Sir. 16 Renegade. <laughs> Uh, scared to attack on the facility. Allow, along with the operators Taylor and Lawson, the facility destroyed by remote detonation. How far was the detonation? Did Miranda have it on her? Salvage teams weren't sure no incriminating data survived. You like your logo on everything. <laughs> Per Miranda's recommendation, I am running security sweeps on other cells to ensure that Wilson was the only mole, regardless of the cost. Project Lazarus was a success. Shepard is back. Back in black and red. Yay. You proceed to follow bonuses for importing a level 57 character into the Mass Effect tour. 150,000 credits. Do you have less credits if you don't have level 57? 45 Paragon AI. Ew. Long servers. What? Bonuses. Long servers. Oh. So that's new game plus? What the hell? Yay. 200,000 more credits. Grenade launcher. Yay. Credits. 